So someone asked this morning on YouTube if I would do a day in the life video today. And that is what I'm doing. I have some news about Cornelius. I'll tell you in a little bit here. New car. Not new, used. This is really weird getting into such a low car. Used to the truck. She said step down and do it, huh? Jeez. <laughs> So what is our plan for today? I want to go up country to find out what's with Uma's spices, why she's not selling down here in town. Okay, so we're after Indian spices. We gotta go to Costco. I feel like I can't see though. I, like yeah, I'm way I know, down, you're down here. here. Like look at that car over there. They're taller than us. <laughs> it's good grief. I'm like <laughs> looking up at everything. <laughs> I know, you gotta step up out of it to get out of the car. Yeah, I'm, I, well, I fell into it when I was getting oh. in. I fell down. Uh, I don't know how my grandmother, how she got in and out of this thing. I mean, I have a hard enough time. So we're going up country first and... Oh, we do have some news about Cornelius. Uh oh. Yeah, Cornelius yeah. is no longer with us. That's the rooster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I should, I should mention that. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Well, I, I do talk about the chickens a lot in videos. But yeah, unfortunately, a neighbor dog apparently attacked. Uh, was it just the one? Yeah, I just got okay. him. Yeah, such a bummer. And I was really upset about it, too, because now Dottie, it's him, is all by herself now. Yeah. She's so, out there walking around by herself. Yeah. So we're coming into Makawao town, and this is actually where Michael and I, when we first got married, we lived up here. Now we're on Baldwin Avenue, downtown Makawao, and there is the farmer's market. So that's where we're going to look for our Indian spice. I hope she's here. Oh, I think she's here. Now we just gotta find parking. See, it's got a black dash, so we gotta put this little reflector in there. Otherwise, it gets super hot. Too hot already for Mako Wow. Devita Solar. I gotta put that on right now. You should put it on right now. <laughs> I don't see Uma. to see Uma. Get some Christmas berry honey and I guess that's this tree right here. Why do they call it that? Because it's green and red. Maui time. This is where our Indian food is usually but um, she's it's, not it's here. It's 11 and she's not here. <laughs> and then one guy is just setting up right now. That's, yeah, that's Maui. So we gotta hang out and wait a while longer. I guess we're too early. We got we jumped the gun on huh? yeah. 11th. It's <laughs> too early. Huh? So those people came probably came up to Makawa expecting to find this Komoda yeah. bakery. Komoda store, really Komoda bakery. Yeah, hugely popular up here. Unfortunately, their hours um, closed Wednesdays. Yeah, they've got <laughs> they've got specific hours so. So in case anyone comes up here, because I know a lot of people come out here to Maui, if you come to Komoda Bakery, here are their hours. Okay. There you go. And the days are closed, Wednesday and Sunday. <laughs> All right. What do you want to do? Uh, let's go up and uh, get my hair cut in Amos. Let me show you another, um, you know, Maui time thing. <laughs> Closed because it's my birthday. Put it in wet and it'll go right into the cuticle. Okay. Yeah, it's okay if I so afterwards or blow dry or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. It's it is more like a treatment instead of a styling product. Right. Um, but it does a little bit of both. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Good to see you. I know. Okay. I'll talk to you. Okay. How much does it cost? I'm nervous because. A place that oh. gives a menu for a haircut yeah. is probably out of my price range for uh, a haircut. Men's is 30. Oh. 
Well, that's making Mr. Ken's look uh, better at 16 more and more, isn't it? Mr. Ken's. Oh. Oh. Open. There you go. Hello. Hello. Is it your birthday today? It was yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, oh nice. Good. Okay. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> How's that coffee? It's okay. No. They did a pour over, uh, so it never gets the full. Oh, you know, I like. I'm used to my French roast, French press, really robust, over the top. So you know, I've spoiled myself. Yeah. I'm yes, I know you're very spoiled. I, am. <laughs> I, I do my best to spoil you. You do pretty good. So uh, this is where we, we're at Casanova's, and in there is where Michael and I first. Oh, it was so went romantic. Out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> We had a friend with us, and yeah, we, we ate at Polly's Mexican restaurant, which is next door, and then we came over here. There's our friend Jacques, Jacob. Jacob. He has a jewelry store up here. Little Quebec. <laughs> All right, so we left Makawa. We're on Haleakala Highway, heading back down to town. Kind of hazy, huh? Yeah, so you can see over there, those are the West Maui Mountains. Michael and I are in Maui Friends of the Library, and look what he found. He found a guinea pig book, and I found an herb bible. Okay, we're in Queen Hao Mama Center at another farmer's market, and I'm looking for beets because I want to do some. Oof. Now I'm going to the library, checking out the essential oils book again that I really like. I hope they have it. I'm here looking at cookbooks, and look what's following me. Look, guinea pig books are following me. <gasps> okay, I got Medicinal Plants of the World, and my Essential Oils directory book, which I keep checking out. And at the risk of sounding like a nerd, I gotta say, libraries are pretty darn cool. I mean, you can go there and check out any book, any and... Book. Free. Geez, <laughs> free, I know. I mean, the friends of the library, ding, ding, I mean, what, some of the books in there, a dollar, two fifty. I mean, one book, right. I mean, was easily a $30 book I saw in there for $1.50. I know, my, my herb Bible cost me $2.50. Going to Pier 1, I'm in search of a ceramic bowl. Bummer, I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for in Pier 1, so I will have to check. Possibly Ross, because I want a large serving bowl. Okay, we're in Costco, and Michael is looking at this little spice rack. He really wants it. Yeah, well, Uma didn't... Right, we couldn't get our Indian spices up in Mockwell. <laughs> she was all out. Yeah, so I mean... So I, you want to make your own. I make my own. Okay, we're in the um, bread section. This is the section where Michael shops and that I won't shop in. But since I'm here, I'm looking at this peppermint bark. There's something about peppermint bark. I don't know, the name or something, the look of this stuff. I just love it every time I see it. I bet it tastes good, but I won't eat it. Can't eat it. All right, grocery haul. Let's see, Michael's got his potatoes, uh, pineapple, frozen berries for adding into smoothies, bananas, avocados, bell peppers, uh, camuela tomatoes, Black grapes, uh, salad mix, um, tortillas, salsa, raspberries. Michael's got his bread and some popcorn stuff. Okay, I'm reshooting this for you. I came around the corner here, zoomed in, and look at this. You should have heard her reaction. Oh my! <laughs> I know, I freaked out, because I've been passing around this corner for so long now, nothing on the beauty aisle in Costco has changed for the longest time. And then look at this, ooh, they're gold brushed, ooh. Get them to go review. Oh man, oh shoot, you know what, I have brushes, but I really, really like the look of these. Oh, those are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Isn't it? Should I surprise you with them? You go out to the car and all. 
Okay, here's something else that's really cute. Although it's $17, but I wanted to show you guys in case you have a Costco. They're um, these little lip moisturizers, but they're in these super fancy, like nice little tins. Look at those. Or I don't know, they're more, not tin necessarily, but it's actually like heavy duty, like metallic, you know, metal. But look at those, look how cute. They're like a little keychain, little bow. Anyways, cute, but. I am on a budget, so I'm going to pass on that. So in case you guys are curious, um, you know, why I wasn't wanting to purchase the brush set, aside from what I already mentioned, I am just not purchasing anything. I, I don't want any more makeup. I don't want any, you know, I don't care if it's new, like some new collection coming out or something. You know, I'll make exceptions here and there if I really, really in love with it. But I just, I'm coming to the realization that I just don't want stuff anymore. I just have enough stuff and I, I've got like, I just don't want to purchase anything else. I, I would rather just save my money and not go purchase more makeup because I just, I have overkill already of like everything. So I won't purchase stuff, um, you know, specifically to do reviews or anything like that anymore. I'm just kind of like really narrowing down uh, my belongings and you know, you can always live with less than what you think you need to look like. Are we lower than the Corvette? I don't know. I think <laughs> we're probably the same height. I think we're at least the same height, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not as nearly as fast though, I promise yeah. you that. Now I'm no. looking at that guy's tires. <laughs> I used to be up there with them. This takes a little getting used to. Little cars. Okay, I am stopping at Ross because I'm after that bowl. See if they have a uh, canvas. Start painting. Okay. All right, I'm in Ross looking at the bowls. And I think I like this one best. The black one, I like the shape of that. And that would make the steam kind of come up really nicely. It's like just the right depth. So for afternoon snack, I'm eating a persimmon. Got a big bag of them at the farmer's market for super cheap. They were like five bucks for a whole bunch of them. And then in here I got beets, all of those for a dollar. Awesome. So I'm going to be juicing those and these, well, we just like to eat raw like that. I'm on Vitacost right now and I know I've gotten questions about what are your favorite items to purchase from Vitacost? Well, I, I have several, but um, what I'm interested in right now is uh, researching different herbs. Uh, for you know um, doing facials so I was looking at some of the different herbs here so this is kind of how I shop I've got my book down here so I look up each herb individually find out its properties as I'm shopping oh and by the way here is another site that I found that I really really love this is mountainroseherbs.com I don't know if you guys are already familiar with this site but they have so much helpful information on here so this is kind of like where I come now at least one of the places I like to visit a lot and read through all their information. And look at this, they've got facials, at-home facials, um, exfoliation recipes, steaming recipes for facial steams, masks, um, green clay, toning recipes, just all kinds of stuff. And that's just one page. So I'm still sitting here reading and I'm having another afternoon snack because I do eat a lot. I eat a lot of little meals all throughout the day. So now I have my kind of like my dessert plate sort of. So I've got my grapes, my raspberries, and my favorite dates, medjool dates. Oh my word. These, they don't look like much, but oh, that is like my little dessert treat. Because I do have a sweet tooth, but since I'm not allowing myself refined sugar, um, I go with stuff like that, and it, it totally takes care of my sweet tooth. Mitzi's relaxing. She just sits here on my lap. While I have my juice that Michael made me and finish editing today's video. So you may be wondering, what on earth am I doing now? Well, this is my sauna facial or steam facial that I just finished doing and it was so refreshing, oh my goodness. So I'm not gonna share the exact ingredients that I used yet because I'm gonna save that for a separate video. If this is something that you guys are interested in seeing, let me know and I will do it in a do-it-yourself um, sort of project video. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my bowl out here and then I'm going to go relax. I'm gonna make some tea. 
um, with my Yogi bedtime tea. And this is so good. If you guys have, like, if anyone out there has trouble sleeping or you're a light sleeper, this is just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go make some of that. And I think I'm done for the evening. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.